Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. The last two posts I've done have been about filtering in Excel, and I'm going to complete that hat trick today. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to review the last two I did, you might find them pretty interesting. But today we're going to take a look at how to selectively filter certain columns. So let's take a look. When you filter data in Excel and you want to add the filter drop down arrows, all you need to do is click anywhere in your data range, assuming your data range is set up properly with no empty rows or columns and the data having a header row with unique headers on top of each column. All you need to do is go to the data tab and click on the filter command and that will add your drop down arrows for each one of the columns that you have. But let's say you only want to filter by model, or that's the only filtering you want to offer your users. All you need to do is click on that column first, then click the filter command, and it will only add the drop down arrow for that column only. If you want to add it for multiple columns, say for example, salesman, model, and region, you can highlight those three columns click the filter command and it will add the drop down arrows for those. The only thing you can't do without using VBA is non-contiguous columns. For example, I cannot select column B, hold down my control key and select column E and hit the filter command. Excel will not allow that. So that's how you can filter just individual columns within Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.